Yes! And so my boat, White Shadow, and I continue our South Sea Odyssey towards New Zealand. Thought I'd let the camera run just a little bit here at the beginning of the video, just to give you a flavour of what it's like to be at sea alone. Just wondering whether to put a reef in or not. I've got one in, should I put another in? The last thing I want to do is break something now. You've got to remember that the rigging on this boat is 16 years old. There's one mainstay there that holds up the mast on this side, on the weather side. And that is 16 years old. And it's down for replacement in New Zealand. As mainsails go, mine's not actually a huge mainsail. And I do need the power to power myself through these waves and stuff, but do I take in a reef or not? No suggestions from Wilson. He's been on uh, night watch all night, so he's a bit tired. Uh, I think I'll have another cup of coffee and think about things for a minute or two. Another day in another kind of weather. Calm and tranquil. At last, nice sailing conditions. It has been pretty bumpy for the last few days, uh, making me feel a bit ill, to be honest with you. Uh, the wind is coming up now, but this morning we were becalmed, and I was worried because that's part of this passage that there is a big hole in the weather between where we were, Minerva Reef, and New Zealand, where we're going. Uh, but it's picking up as I'm actually I'm gonna to have to stop filming because that wind's picking up now I don't know why it's been it's been up and down all day and we were just jollying along very nicely just now but um, that's beginning to freshen up speeds picking up and I'm having to hold the camera I don't know why that is but it's it's been it's very strange very very strange I'm not complaining. Uh, the sea is, is, is smoothed out. It's rolly rather than choppy. So I'm not getting thrown around. That was horrible. I couldn't do any cooking or anything for a couple of days. Um, just eating out of cans and what have you. And uh, fresh food, which is almost gone now. I've got uh, about four or five oranges left and that's it. But it's all good so, so far. So far. It's, it's okay. But we're not making great time. Everybody's past us. Um, uh, there is a net uh, in the evenings on the uh, SSB, that's a long range radio. And I've been uh, listening in that. I can't transmit, again, I've got problems with my radio transmitting. I think it's a voltage problem. All this stuff I hope to get sorted out in the refit in New Zealand. Uh, but yeah, as far as I can see, everybody's past us. The big boats left Minerva Reef the day after I did with the, the quote unquote slow boats like me. But I am, as you know, the slowest boat in the world. Um, so yes, <laughs> I did 77 miles last night. I was bashing into it. I had more sail up than I should have done. I was bashing into it. And this morning I did the calculations and I'd done 77 nautical miles. That's ridiculous. But hey, but because we were bashing, the boat kept getting stopped. The weather was right on the nose, that was the thing. Onward and upward though. 
Got a lot done already today. That was just with it being calm. Oh, and I had bacon and eggs for breakfast. Awesome. And that was a special treat. Normally I eat a lot of dried foods when I'm on a rough passage. Meanwhile, I had a little encounter with some whales. There are whales over there, but they're a long distance off. I could just see them squirting some water up. <laughs> oh yeah, they were a bit closer to than, than they are now. And I ran down to get the camera, but you can't see I'll see if I can zoom in. There's somewhere over there. How things can change. Yet another day and we've got a combination which is very, very rare on this boat. A smooth sea, lots of wind, and we're going for it. The Shadmeister is hauling us. We're doing about six knots across a fairly flat sea and she is just going for it. It's not often I get a treat like this. Go, baby, go! Yes! You can see how she's leaning right over. She's got the bit between her teeth and she's going for it. There's a proper weight down there. That wake is waiting for no man. Look at that. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Honey, why can't you do this all the time? Oh, yes. Yeah. She's just lies. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. This is, a, this is once a, a very rare moment that she'll, she'll ever do this. Probably got more sail than I would normally have out, um, but it's a steady wind. She's taking it nicely. Yes, keeps luffing up. There's a, one of the things I've got to do is change sails. Uh, the problem I have is uh, is that the sails are, uh, are not good anymore. There's a sag in them, a bag in them, or whatever. They lost their shape as they do over the years. But for a set of old sails that are raggedy tag with holes in them, they're doing a good job today. Hell, even Wilson's chill today, taking a little snooze in the sun, dreaming about uh, some female coconut in the doubt. After a good day's sail, a nice sunset and the hope of a nice sail this evening. Got 600 miles still to go to New Zealand. Managed to listen to the net tonight. Uh, just got through. They heard that I was okay. I managed to say all well on board. Uh, most of my friends are way in front of me though. But hey, I don't care. I got spaghetti bolognese on the stove and a beautiful sunset. But as I've said many times on these videos, what a difference a day can make. As you can see from great sailing, a serene sunset, the next day brought complete and utter calms. Love this shot. Just how slow can the Shadmeister go? Yes, this slow, really. Just like the real world, shipboard life involves routine. Hauling my sorry ass out of my bunk is the first one. Making coffee is the next. 
checking my position. I did 99 miles yesterday. I plotted that this morning. A quick visit to the heads. Uh, uh, that's the toilet for you that don't know. And then it's clean up boat time, starting with a washing up from last night. Once all that's done, I normally check out the sails and trim everything and see if I can get the boat to go a bit faster. A look at the weather, check the crew are okay, and then drink my coffee. Oh, I did do that. It's been a long night. But today's something special. Here's the chart. There we are, sort of wobbling about as Shaddy does. And then in front of us here, about six miles away, is a mark on the chart, which symbolizes a special event. And this view again, you can see the red circle. That's where we are sort of halfway between the Tongan Islands in the Pacific and the north coast of New Zealand and slightly to the west there is the coast of Australia. But in true adventures of an old sea dog style, Shaddy is becalmed. Not a breath of wind out there. Well there's a tiny bit, the sails are beginning to flog and we're moving along very very slowly which is a shame because this morning we were really moving it was great flat sea making my coffee then all of a sudden the boat stopped and uh, we've got about four and a half miles to go to my special mark when are we going to get there shaddy come on shaddy 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 <laughs> normally i would leave the outtakes till the end of the video but i was trying to make an important announcement kept getting it wrong thought it was funny so left them in so let me explain what's going on this morning if you can hear me over the flogging no no forget that bit so let me explain what's going on this morning if i can borrow wilson's head my crew member here wilson say hello wilson hello wilson so let me explain what's going on here uh if i could have so let me explain what's that's really making a lot of noise up there isn't it that's crashing and bashing I was going to do this bit, but now that sail's starting to flog, which means the wind has completely died. It's all go here on the Shadmeister this morning. I think I'll just sit here and cry. You like the new glasses? They're great. They're replacing an old pair. Somebody mentioned uh, in one of the comments how they like my uh, yellow sunglasses, so I found some more. So I'm going to start wearing yellow sunglasses. Yeah, they're great. The yellow in my t-shirts and it just sort of matches a little bit, do you think? <laughs> and I'm bored. So under the sound of flogging sails, let me explain what's going on with the help of my crewmate, Wilson. This is Wilson. Hello, Wilson. Say hello, Wilson. Hello, Wilson. Wilson has a circular head. A bit like the globe, a bit like the earth. If we can imagine Wilson's nose is England. Now, England has zero degrees running through it at Greenwich, hence the old term Greenwich Mean Time. Time and positions are all calculated through London because, well, we owned a lot of the world at that time, so it kind of, we, we said we were going to do it and people still do it that way. Let, let's not get into that now. But uh, you've got the Western Hemisphere divided from the uh, west side of uh, London, basically, and the Eastern Hemisphere going this way. We've been sailing through the west, west of zero degrees. Uh, and that's Americas, across the Pacific, and of course you've got a point opposite Wilson's nose, opposite England, on this side of the globe, which is the exact half of the world. And we just sailed across that now. Um, so that's halfway around the world. Are you getting what I'm saying here? But where I set off from is five degrees further on from London. So I had to add an extra five degrees. So we're in the middle of the Pacific here, well, to the, to the west, well, left hand side of it let's not make it confusing the left hand side of the pacific so i'm nearly another five degrees on from the half world mark which means in another four miles i will have sailed solo in this boat halfway around the world that's the big thing this morning I will have sailed in another few miles if we get there because we're becalmed. It's just like halfway around the world. Which means that if you're still following me now, to get back home, I don't turn around, I keep going. Because after about another hour from now at this speed, it'll be quicker for me to go on than turn around. 
So I, from now on, will be setting towards home. And I'm like, yeah, that's a nice thought. Having a good time, but yeah, I'm setting towards the people I love. So there you go, Wilson. You understand that? No, he doesn't understand. We drifted across the halfway point, which is there on the chart. That's exactly opposite my hometown where I set off at Plymouth. I am now two miles past it. I now have officially sailed halfway around the world by myself on this boat. Wow. Just sailed halfway around the world. <laughs> yes! Yes! I just sailed by myself halfway around the world. Halfway around the world. And I'm still here. Yes! Just hanging out on the Bimini top here. Just feeling good all of a sudden. Just feeling good because I, I, it was a goal that I had to get to. And I did it, you know, halfway around the world. I sailed a boat by myself half of the way around the world. I did it. And that's a good feeling. This next bit I might not ever put out, but it's for me really. It's just, I, I never achieved anything in my life. Nothing, nothing of, um, of no, I mean, I, I, um, I don't have a family. I never did well in work or career. I never made any money. If that's the way you judge success, some people do. So I, not, not necessarily for me. I, I did my own thing. I marched to the beat of my own drum, if you like, or I tried to, against advice, against the flow of the river, and all that sort of thing. And um, it was important to me to achieve something before I die. I'm 60 something now, and uh, my health is not the best. And we're all here on limited time. That wind is really taking up now. It was important to achieve something, to do something and achieve it. And say so that's written in stone. The fact that I sailed a boat by myself halfway around the world is written in stone. Nobody can take that away from me. I'm, that's why I'm making this record of it now. If I drop dead tonight, tomorrow, if I fall off the boat and drown now, anything that happens to me, at least I did this. I sailed halfway around the world. I sailed halfway around the world looking for love. Ooh, I'm halfway around the world. I'm halfway around. to make it a bit exciting, didn't I? 